Police have moved in to break up the protests at Harrison Island. Dozens of officers on horseback, in cars and on foot took down tents and removed camping gear after the group repeatedly refused to leave. Cries of defiance... Stand! Stand proud! ..as police move in. Here they come! The camp, which grew to 60 people, outnumbered by officers on horse, on foot and in the air. No resource spared. The CEO of the City of Perth tried to move the group on. But they wouldn't listen. After a silent standoff and a show of force, officers started to tear down the campsites. They'd been there for 13 days, set up in protest against a plan to close down remote WA Aboriginal communities. The council had ordered the group to move on by midday. After no sign, the elders spoke. There's nowhere for our people to go. You're closing down all the communities now. Where are our people going to go? Early frustrations were vented at the media, an angry few pelting crews with rocks. She's got a rock. She's got a rock. Then at three o'clock, the police came and the tents came down. While the police are dismantling the tents, the protesters have chosen to stay around this sacred campfire that they have here. The women are in the middle. They say that's a safe spot in case they see a repeat of 2012. Back then, protesters and police clashed over a tent embassy protesting the government's $1.3 billion native title offer to WA's Noongar people. This time, there was no confrontation. After packing up the protesters' things, police simply left. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! And tonight, the protesters have all but left the island. Uh, to Rachel Carey now. Rach, what's happening there now? Well, Tim, protesters have just about finished packing up here. They say that with no more camping gear and the rain about to set in, they won't be staying at Harrison Island tonight. I spoke to some elders earlier following the police presence. They say that they feel they've made their point and that they, uh, they say they've made their point and they're pleased with how this afternoon rolled out. They say they're pleased there was no violence between protesters and police and they're also glad that police did not touch their campfire, which they say is sacred, in the middle of the ground and they've had that burning for all almost two weeks now. Now, while they won't be at Harrison Island tonight, they have vowed to return. They say they will be back at the island on Monday at 8.30. Exactly what for is unclear. Tim? Thank you, Rachel.